Today I want to quickly talk to you about standing out of the crowd. I want you to stand out of the crowd. You know, presently there are over 7 billion people in the world and not one of us shares another's fingerprint. You know, we all know these things, but what we refuse to understand is it's a revelation. It's an indication of the fact that you are irreplaceable. Nobody can do the things you can do like you can do it. You know, the truth is, each one of us is a representation of the variety of God. You know, God is awesome. God is almighty. God is all-knowing. There is no end to describing what He can do. But He has chosen to reflect and to reveal Himself through the variety of individual human beings. The way you smile, the way you talk, the things that uh, tickles your fancy, your passion, your turn off. These are various ways that God has coded so that He can be revealed to men through you. Now, don't get me wrong. What I'm saying is not all is not uh, some religious uh, theory. I'm talking about principles of life. That you are exceptional. You are extraordinary. You are irreplaceable. The way you are and the things that, you, that are unique to you, they are special. So I want you to stand out of the crowd. Refuse to go with the flow. Refuse to blend in. Refuse to coast along. You know, there are some people that are waiting for the gift that you have. That same thing that is burning in your heart, that is making those around you to misunderstand you, that makes them think you are ambitious, they think you think you're such a much, what is the big deal about you? You see, if you allow it to die, you have buried the purpose for which you are here in the world. And you have denied the entire human race the privilege of the fact that you lived. I'm saying your life is God's gift to the world. Your skill is God's gift to the world. Why would you ignore the craving of your heart just because other people are doing it? Nobody can do what you can do like you can do it. I don't care put a million speakers in this room, they can't sound like me. Give every one of us a title and teach us on what to write about it. They can't think like me. Because nobody has had my experience. Nobody has my fingerprint. Nobody has my way of thinking. And this is not to make me arrogant. It is for me to celebrate my uniqueness. I am exceptionally wired for something. Nobody in this world had ever been like me. Nobody in this world will ever be like me. The same way for you. There has never been another you. There will never be another you. It doesn't matter if there are so many uh, astrophysicists where you walk. There's none like you. If there are too many hairdressers in the salon where you walk, they don't have your touch. Just because some people have kids that have turned out better, your parental touch cannot be duplicated. So what does this have to say to you? Stand out of the crowd. Single yourself out. That I will not blend in. I will not coast along. You see, you were born to be a teacher to some people. You were born to be a deliverer to some people. Your prosperity, your success is the motivation of some people. The dreams in your heart that you are almost getting discouraged to drop. You see, when you fulfill that dream, many people are going to believe that it is doable. Some people are waiting to hear your sermon. Some people are waiting to buy your record. Don't limit your life because so many people are already doing what you want to do. There is none like you. There is no one else like you. Don't let this usual cliche of nobody is indispensable. Don't let it deceive you. Nobody is indispensable. It's a lie. You are indispensable. For there has never been anyone like you before. There will never be another like you before. There is something so unique about you that is proven biologically by the fact that nobody shares your fingerprint. So I want you to stand out of the crowd today. Single yourself out. Go for the dream in your heart. Believe in your uniqueness. Don't let the voices that have talked you down, don't let them win. It doesn't matter how you look. 
It doesn't matter where you went to school. I'm saying your past experiences, the uniqueness of your formation, the uniqueness of your giftedness, they are a special package. You are a limited edition. This is not just another uh, inspirational jargons. I'm not here to waste time. I'm here to make you believe in life. Don't think there is nothing special about you. Forget about every other person that is achieving something. Forget about everyone that has been doing what you want to do. You've got to go for the one in your heart. Because there is a niche, there is a part of the market, there is a part of humanity that are waiting for somebody that looks and sounds just like you. I don't need to be white to be credible. I don't need to be the richest man in the world to be a credible motivational speaker. I don't need to have married 50 years before I can encourage somebody on what can make a happy marriage. I just need to believe what I know. I need to believe in what I am gifted to do. And I want you to do the same thing. The year just got started. All of us started, we were pumped up. But right now, the voices are speaking. They're saying you are thinking too high. They're saying, is it all about you? You're going to come on, on, on Facebook and YouTube, do all those video things. Everybody is already doing it. It doesn't matter how many people are doing it. You are meant to hear my voice. In the same way, there are people who are meant to buy your product. There are people who are meant to sponsor your invention. Rise up and be counted. You are the deliverer that many are waiting for. The injustice that you cannot stomach, rise up to defend it. Go into politics. Go into social services, go into uh, humanitarian and AIDS work, go into Christian ministry work, go into science and technology. Bring out your uniqueness. Stop looking at the Western Hemisphere. The Western world are not the savior of the world. The Western world is not the savior of the world. Every human being has what it takes to take our world to a higher place. Mark Zuckerberg has done his own, Bill Gates has done his own, uh, Steve Jobs did his own. You got to do your own. Don't let what they have achieved intimidate you. You are God's gift to the world. It's time to stand out of the crowd because you are really unique. If you see the real you, you are different from everyone else around. God bless you. Stand up and be counted.